uh, we have a little fun segment which i'd like to call it as a rapid geeta right so you have to be rapid and uh, very simple questions okay but uh, related to the geeta and uh, are you ready rupa ji yes i'm ready awesome so let's get started so the first question is uh, what do you remember the first piece of uh, realization that you got after reading the geeta i think what really sort of blew my mind which i did not expect and this is comes at almost the very end of the geeta there were many many surprising wonderful things in the geeta but you know i uh, and in the end like arjuna is completely convinced you are keshava you are supreme i completely believe in you i surrender to you now tell me krishna what should i do whatever you say i will follow your uh, your instruction let me know what to do and krishna says hello i am not telling you what to do you have you listened to me yes have you listened carefully yes have you reflected on what i've told yes now choose what you want to do and for me that was like wow and this is really important even as parents for me as a parent it became very important that message it is our duty to show our children what could happen if you take this route what will happen if you take that route but really we have to leave the choice to them in the end and why is the, and we have to respect the choice they make uh, why is that so important because one in for one thing you have to own the consequences of your action if you give instruction to your children that this is what you should do and they do it because they're scared of you or because they love you and this is a way of showing their love and then it goes wrong they're constantly going to feel but you said that i should do it you know that's why i did it but you want children to take responsibility for their own actions you want them to own it how do you do that by showing them everything and then telling them to do it so i felt what a what a lesson in good parenting in good mentorship even in offices in in corporate situations for krishna to do that was just amazing i i just love that wonderful so your second question is complete the sentence bhagavad gita for me is you have to answer this in one word one word i don't have, i have a phrase okay a phrase <laughs> go ahead <laughs> for me it is i think the oldest and best self help book in the world great so which is the favorite chapter of the bhagavad gita okay i mean i would like to say second because it encapsulates the whole thing the, the entire wisdom is encapsulated but i think what moves me most deeply is chapter 10 when arjuna says i can't understand this nameless formless kind of krishna give me some metaphors tell me who you are uh, with giving examples of things i know and then krishna begins to say of all the rivers i am the ganga of all the mountains and this of all the trees i am the ashwatha you know and it's it's just so beautiful it just keeps if you keep listening to it it keeps building up in in uh, tempo and i just i always feel tears in my eyes when he says of all the pandavas i am noble arjuna i mean he identifies with arjuna directly and i feel like i feel that is the point at which the message is that he is in all of us for that when the moment we try and become noble but when we reach for our higher self our better nature we are becoming closer to krishna and eventually we will become one with him and we'll realize we are krishna ourselves so i just love that awesome so talking about arjun what would you do if you woke up one day and found yourself to be arjun in this modern day age and time what would you be doing i would go and launch a man hunt for krishna and find him wherever he is pull him out of bed if i woke up when he would also be time for him to wake up and then take him for a long walk and chat and chat and chat have a nice <laughs> breakfast masal dosa somewhere with <laughs> with krishna I would, i would love that awesome i think now krishna has to come at least for the masal dosa <laughs> yeah yeah okay your final rapid geeta question is one message for all the geeta enthusiasts and you have to answer this in one line mm i think what what krishna says right that anyone who meditates upon this conversation between you and me anyone who can listen to it without scoffing 
he is or she is already liberated so you know so that's why if we are already gita enthusiasts then we love listening to this conversation and let's keep doing it because krishna has assured us that anyone who listens in on this conversation is already on their way to liberation awesome that was wonderful rupa ji so with that it was an absolutely amazing conversation with you rupa ji i definitely uh, had a lot of aha moments and a lot of eye openers so right. it was blissful um, and a lot of wisdom filled as well and i'm sure